Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. I'm having some issues today so far. This is my third try on this. <laughs> my microphone is going to poop. Uh, but anyway, don't worry about that. We have a nice recipe, another post Thanksgiving Day recipe using up some of your leftover ingredients. Uh, we're going to make a, a turkey stuffing pie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, uh, but you know you're going to like it. So while you're here, while you're looking at it, give me a like, share with your friends, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And while you're down there, hit the little arrow down. You can see in the description box a link to my daughter Stephanie's uh, updated website. Give it a little check and see what you think about it. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. We've got things to do. And my microphone is also acting silly. <laughs> Oh boy. As you can see, I have planned, this is like my third time I put the oven on, turned it off. But anyway, so I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm using my small toaster oven. Okay, so here's our ingredients. We have three eggs I'm going to beat, and we're going to put this here um, half and half and heavy cream mix I got there. You could use regular milk. Got some provolone cheese, some mozzarella we're going to use as a topping. Here's uh, stuffing that I chopped up. Turkey in the background there, mixed meat, a mix of dark and, and light meat, and uh, I cut that up into a fine dice. I got some mashed potatoes and green beans that I've reheated. It's, it's, it's warm right now, and here's my greased uh, nine, nine inch pie pan. Okay, I hope everybody can see this pretty well. Uh, what we're going to start with here is uh, I'm just going to beat up these eggs real quick just to get this out of the way. This is like one of the last parts to be done, but. Figure since we're sitting here, okay, I got the three eggs beaten up. Now I'm going to add the cream, and we want to mix that up pretty well. I'll mix it again when we get ready to put it on there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to smash all of this stuffing here. We'll do a little at a time. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to make the crust of the pie is going to be the stuffing. The stuffing is moist, by the way. We want to try to mash that down as level as you can in the bottom of the pie pan. And plus, we want to go up the walls with this stuff. So you're basically making a shell, like a pie shell, right? And remember to also grease the the, uh, the uh, pie plate pretty well. I used butter. I was going to use uh, shortening, but the butter was already there, so I suggest use that. And don't worry about if you make little holes or whatever. You'll have enough stuffing, I hope, to fill in all the little cracks, the nooks and crannies, right? But we don't want this too thick on the bottom, really. I mean, you want to have it thick, but... It's kind of neat, you know, it's helping to use up, you know, the uh, leftovers that you have. And I'm trying to come up with as many, I mean, I've had dishes before where my kids can tell you, I, I, I cook a lot of different things with leftovers, so. Uh, this here, just another one of them things with no leftovers. The leftovers to me is just another... Invention in your head. Find another recipe. You can use all your ingredients so you don't waste nothing. We don't waste nothing. Right? Right. You know the old saying, waste not, want not. Well, <laughs> we don't want to waste it. So, but anyway, this is good to have uh, when you make this. It comes out pretty good. Uh, you can take and have your, if you have any gravy left, you can use some. Uh, um, cranberry sauce to have with it because it's going to taste pretty much like uh, turkey dinner <laughs> but you know it's just something to, it's, I like doing it. it's fun so you see what I'm doing I'm just trying to pack this a little tighter along the, the wall there and give us a little depth of so we can fill it in with some stuff we don't want kind of like a, a big massive glob along the edge of the rim of the pot pan so I'm just pushing all this away down at the bottom, getting it flat. And so far, she's coming together just like we dreamed. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, so now we get to this part. This is easy. It's all easy. Okay, so now we pack this at the bottom. Make sure you got, uh, you don't want no open spaces if you can help it down there. Pack it nice and snug. Okay, I'm not going to say that no more. Okay, now we're going to take some potato. I may not use all of this. And I'm just putting a layer of this along the bottom. Just smear it in there. It doesn't have to cover everything. Uh, but, you know, it's just going to give it a little turkey day flavor. That's what you're looking for, huh? Okay, so now we got that part done. Then what I like to do is just take a little of these here beans and just scatter them in there. Don't, you don't have to plop them anywhere. The reason I put this in there though, because it has a nice bacony flavor. So. Yeah. Okay, then the last layer is going to be a mix of the meat meat mixture I should say see like I said this comes together pretty quick uh, I really think you guys are gonna enjoy this one but again it's using up what you have left over you don't throw nothing away I know a lot of people say well I wouldn't throw it away anyway a lot of people don't like to eat leftovers so you don't call them leftovers that's why I say you, you know come up with something new each day yeah you're using that meat but if you don't tell nobody it was left over ain't gonna know <laughs> Just another, another recipe, another, you remember that old saying, what, ouch, uh, that's my dog stepping on my feet, trying to clean up the floor with the stuff I spilled, huh, okay, so now we're going to take some cheese and sprinkle that on top. And, you know, the thing says about a cup. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cup. Huh? I'm just saying what I'm trying to sprinkle here, see. And then we're going to... And what's going to kind of help hold all this together is that egg mixture that I did in the beginning. So, there is a method to my madness somewhere. Somewhere on this here planet you'll find it. I don't know where it is, but somewhere you'll find it. Okay, now we're going to just get a couple slices of this here. You have to be careful with your fingers, but you, know, you can use Swiss cheese. You can use any, any kind of melty cheese that you like. Uh, I think when I first found this recipe, I think it said to try to uh, do Swiss cheese, but... I didn't have any Swiss cheese, and if I did, I don't care for that that much, so I use what I like. So, put this on here, break it up, put it on there. And then what we're going to do is once all this is done, we're going to pour the milk mixture right over this, so it'll all seep down in there. And that, that milk and the egg will help bind all this together when it's cooking. And hopefully... When it comes out, we'll have us another dish. That's just another meal, see? And it don't look the same, but it's going to taste pretty darn good. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to have a contest. How many meals can Mr. Dan make? I don't know. I still have a couple other ones. I was thinking of one yesterday. I made croquets once before, the croquet potatoes. I was thinking, why how can't we make a Thanksgiving one? That's another one that hit me. Pennies to cut it out. <laughs> You know, but you got to do what you got to do. So let's hope we get all this together here. Dump it in there. Looks good. Okay, guys, how does that look? Oh yeah. So now I'm gonna twist this up some more. 
Matter of fact, the magic word there was whisk, so I'm gonna swap this out for my baby whisk. See, baby whisk, no manly whisk here. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my uh, spatula alone just to help us get all, make sure we get all this liquid in there. And I'm just gonna pour this over the cheese, just a little bit here, a little bit there. Huh? And as you can see, it's all seeping down through the cheese. It's gonna make this a nice cheesy dish. Clean cheesy. And that, my friends, is what we're gonna do right there. And as you can see, the milk mix, the egg and milk has kind of not all the way but it's seeping down through the holes and it will as it's cooking so without further ado I'm gonna give you guys a bird's eye view and there we have it and I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of uh, thyme and rosemary on the top right now okay guys there it is as you can see I sprinkle the top but look all that liquid see it soaked down in Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven. We'll see you in about 35 minutes. Okay, guys, there you can see it. Elmo gives his thumb of approval. He's already jumped in and is eating away. <laughs> All right, we'll see you maybe at the taste test table. Blink. Okay, my friends, there you have it. We'll see you at the taste test table. Look at Elmo. He's totally enjoying it. Okay, Mr. Dan at the taste test table. I cannot wait. The aroma in this kitchen is totally well above an A-bomb. Oh, man, it smells so good in there. <laughs> Elmo likes it. He's got the first bite. So, we're going to delve into this. Everything turned out nice. The, the, the crust, I, you guys saw it. So, But here goes Billy up to the bar. Mmm-mmm. <laughs> mmm Turkey is everything so nice and moist on the inside. It's everything. I can taste a little bit of the rosemary, some thyme that I put in there. The cheese is nice and melted. Taste the bacon with the green beans. Mmm. Mmm. This is another delicious leftover recipe. Now what they say, necessity is the mother of invention, huh? Necessity is clean out my refrigerator. So I'm inventing all these recipes to get rid of all my food. Okay, this is Mr. Dan, helps to get down to business. When you're out and you're about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands. When you're out and about, you can use some of that the sanitizing spray or the gel. Wash them up good. When you get home, wash them again. Don't talk with your mouth full unless this is. <laughs> This dish here, this is the bomb. Knock this one out of the park. <laughs> mm. But anyway, don't forget to check out down below in the description. I got my uh, daughter's updated uh, website thing there. You can check that out if you will. Uh, but anyway, give us a like. Share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. When you do, notification bell will pop up. If you already subscribed, don't do it again. <laughs> anyway, that being said, the uh, description will be down. I mean, the, the recipe will be down in the description box. So all you gotta do is hit that little gray arrow and drop down the recipe right there. Anyway, this is one heck of a dish. Hope you guys try it. This is Mr. Dan. We're off for now. I think I got one, maybe two more turkey dishes that I'm gonna come up with. All right, all right. Till next time, my friends, stay hungry, come back when you are, and we'll give you another fine dish just like this.